Okay, let's discuss the five transporting points. Hesi point. Kidney ten, Yingu, Yin Valley. Location at the middle end of the popliteal crest between the tendons of the semimembranosus and semitendinosus muscle on the level of the knee joint space. How to find with the knee flex less than 90 degrees ask the patient to press their heel against the treatment couch so that the two tendons will become more pronounced in, a popliteal, in the popliteal crest, Chris. From a medial direction, kidney ten is located in a small gap anterior to the more prominent tendon of the semitendinosus muscle and posterior to the less well-defined tendon of the semimembranosus muscle. Bladder 40 is located on the same level in the center of the popliteal crease. Needling, needle 1 to 1.5 June vertically from a dorsal medial aspect towards the tibial tuberosity. Avoid puncturing the tendon. Actions, indications, drain damp heat from the lower burner and benefits the kidneys. Opens the channel. Special features, C point, bend point, five basis point for recurring urinary disorder with kidney yin deficiency. It resolves dampness from the lower burner, hypogastric pain and fullness, abdominal distension and pain, difficult urination, turbid urine, painful urination. Tonifies kidney yin or in backache, tinnitus, deafness, night sweating, dark urine, dry throat. Kidney 10 has two main uses. First of all, in common with the other two yin C points around the knee, spleen 9, and liver 8, it resolves dampness from the lower burner and is therefore used for urinary symptoms such as difficulty, pain, and frequent urination. Secondly, this point can also be used to nourish kidney yin. In this respect, it differs from kidney 6 insofar as the latter does not only nourish kidney yin, but it specifically sends yin up, especially to the throat and eyes. It is therefore the best point to use to nourish kidney yin when there is a dry throat and eyes. Kidney 9 also nourishes kidney yin and is better than kidney 10 when there are mental emotional problems such as anxiety and insomnia. Kidney 10 is the HESI and water point of the kidney channel. It shares with the HESI point of the other leg yin channels the common function of clearing dampness and damp heat, especially from the lower jaw. Liber 8 primarily acts on the genital system dominated by the liver channel and spleen 9 by virtue of the intimate relationship between the spleen and dampness is able to treat all dampness disorders of the lower jaw. Kidney 10 predominantly clears damp heat from the genitourinary system and is indicated for difficult or urgent urination, dark urine, leukorrhea, and genital itching. Accumulation of damp heat may impede the smooth flow of chi and give rise to pain reflected in the traditional saying, without movement, there is pain. With movement, there is no pain. Kidney 10 is indicated for pain on urination, urgent urination with pain spreading to the thighs. Pain of the genitals, periumbical pain and hypogastric pain radiating to the inner thigh and genitals. While the impotence is most commonly due to decline of Ming Men fire, it may also be due to accumulation of damp heat, which gives rise to placidity. Damp heat in impotence may arise from liver channel damp heat or spleen damp heat, which pours down to the genitals or from repeated attack of exterior damp heat to the bladder. Kidney 10 is primarily indicated for such excessive patterns of damp heat impotence. In females, damp heat may give rise to uterine bleeding and difficult conception, but indications for kidney 10. There is a close relationship between the lower jaw, damp heat, and kidney deficiency. If kidney deficiency gives rise to heal, 
This may combine with dampness to form damp heat. While prolonged damp heat will consume first kidney yin then, and then kidney yang. This dual pattern of kidney deficiency and damp heat is commonly encountered in clinical practice, especially in patients with repeated urinary disorders. Due to its secondary action of benefiting the kidneys, kidney tend is indicated when these two patterns coexist. Water point, horary point, 5 to 7 p.m., seasonal horary point, winter, HESI, antique autumn point, endocrine point. Revitalize, shakes up, and cleanses this official, and thus the fluid secretion, especially when used between 7 to 5 to 7 p.m. for itching and dampness around the scrotum or vagina for all types of vaginal discharge and for excessive or painful urination. Excellent for knee trouble and injury. Strengthens weak knees in general. If secretions or blood are overheating, they can be taken through this valley to cool down and calm down. Consider when there is blood in the urine. Comes the raging seas of excessive fear. From kidney ten, the deep pathway passes through to the coccyx and do one and then up the spine before passing forward to REN3 and 4, connects to the root of the tongue. 